the by call in protect one. So that is how we uh, get the calls. We'll get a pop-up alert that is in uh, trading tree, not in uh, futures tree. So whenever you get a voice alert and then the pop-up, you just go see the chat and then uh, you can place the orders. I'll just show you how. There is a buy called J Batoshi and one. Bicon is a bicon. <laughs> so Relentra is a good call, it's a bicon. Uh, maybe I'll just post the chat for you uh, after some time. So Arvind has done its intermediate target, ONGC has done its intermediate target, same thing with Maruti, now SSLT should make it, it is at uh, 181.4. So the prices what you are seeing uh, here are uh, the current market prices, it keeps changing every 3 seconds. So the automobile sector we'll have to be a bit careful because 11.30 we have the data coming up, SAM data, so it can reverse, it can go anywhere. So ONGC should make its final target 449.4. So that will be roughly 3000 rupees on each lot. So ONGC has done its uh, final target. Tata Steel, uh, we have a buy call. So the metal pack is up today. It was down from past 2-3 uh, days. So SSLT has done its intermediate target, so you can just see the intermediate targets here. So these are the intermediate targets, you can exit at this point with around 5% profit. The 5% profit what I am talking about, the profit percentages here are uh, as per the MSC span margins. In case if your broker uh, is giving you good margins, it will be actually double this uh, figure. Uh, wherever you have 5% uh, profit will actually be making 10% profit or 20% profit. So that again depends on your uh, broker, his margins and uh, how you trade and how you negotiate with this, uh, your brokers. So 
So ONGC and Indalco, they have done their uh, final targets, but let's just check ONGC, we'll know the levels where uh, we should exit. We will not exit in ONGC and we will not exit even in Hindalco also. So we will retain both the trades. It has a possibility of making its expanding targets that is 452. The same in case of Hindalco also. I will show you the... So there is a possibility for R1. So we can still wait for Hindalco. So these are the scripts that are on trade, uh, uh, I mean we have news on these scripts, so that is the reason why we have put only these scripts, otherwise you can change the scripts also, you can uh, add whatever scripts that are there in the FNO segment and you can even trade on them. So this is one strategy which uh, we use regularly that is uh, the scripts that are on trade, I mean on news. So usually what happens is whenever a script is on news, it will be on a single side. A single side in the sense either on the upper side or on the lower side. That is it will be a buy call or a sell call. And as far as the volumes are concerned, the volumes are also, volumes also will be very good when the stocks are on news. So you don't have to worry about the volumes. As such, uh, the scripts what we have uh, placed here uh, will have uh, good volumes. So what we do is we trade on these scripts and try to make maximum profits. And the other way of uh, trading uh, what we have is we combine uh, this particular uh, features tree software with the trading tree software and we will know what are the trends and we take maximum profits out of it. So that is another uh, strategy what we use. Jindal Steel, you can still uh, stay in the trade, uh, we can we'll get back that uh, buy call. Protect bank is a cell call. So if you have any, uh, Hindustan Zinc has done its uh, intermediate target, now it is a target 4. If you have any doubts, please uh, type it in the chat box, I will explain you. Here it is. 
the by called intact one. So we have an uh, buy call in Tech Mahindra in trading tree. So whenever you get an uh, buy call in trading tree, you'll get this pop up and uh, you'll get the voice alert also. What you do is you just say OK and then just go to that uh, particular uh, chart. So Tech Mahindra, we have a buy call here. So what we do is we place the buy call on slightly above the tip of this candle. Now Tech Mahindra is 250 lot. I, let's say if I don't mind losing uh, 500 rupees, I'll put my trade 2 rupees above this and then wait for the call to get triggered. In case of my, uh, if the market moves up, I mean uh, Tech Mahindra moves up, then my call gets triggered and my first target will be slightly below R1. And in case if the call doesn't get triggered and it actually comes down, your call will not get triggered and you'll be safe. And the red line what you're seeing is the horizontal line what you're seeing is a stop loss line. That is a trailing stop loss. It keeps changing. You can just follow that or else what you can do is, so Hindustan Zinc has done its final target. I'll give you a uh, target for Hindustan Zinc also. You can see Hindalco it is at 173.80. We are talking about not exiting that. Now I don't want people like you because you're basically assholes. PTC is a very good buy call. Run cap is also a buy. And our power also we should be getting a buy call. Let me just check uh, Hindustan Zinc. Uh, we know what is the targets for that. So we still uh, we can still wait on Hindustan Zinc. We can uh, easily make its expanding target also. It is 178.
let's just check uh, what's happening in Maruti. So it's flat. You can just see that uh, it's just still waiting for that uh, SAM data, which is about 11:30. We'll get the data. So the automobile scripts will be stagnant, a sort of stagnant itself. You know? Tata Motors, Maruti, Bajaj, Hero. You can check it, John. You don't have to ask me. 506.2 is the entry, 503 is the stop loss. The Bicon chart is not there in this system, it's there in the other system. I will not be able to connect it. So Godridge Industries, it has made its intermediate target. Tata Power is a uh, good buy call. Biocon is uh, sort of flat now. I mean, uh, we can uh, still wait on that. So three rupees, I mean, uh, roughly say three rupees is a stop loss. Three rupees is fifteen hundred for Biocon. So we can take a chance on that.
Molders we have a very good buy call. So let me just show you uh, some good calls uh, which have made their targets. But I will again uh, come back to uh, the same scripts what we have. So Voltas has done its final target. Now I will show you backup power. Oh, we don't have the data for backup power. Unitech is also on news. Let me just uh, so you can just see Unitech should be making its final targets, but is actually on news. So Tata Power is a very good call actually. We have SSLD, I think uh, it should uh, make its final target. It will make its final target. It's not a uh, problem at all. 283. Hindustan Zinc, I told you, will still wait. So Reliance Power is also uh, good. It has made its intermediate target. So the power companies are good, and uh, in general, the Reliance Adani, sorry. Anil Ambani's pack is uh, sort of in green. So well capital you can see it will make its final target. So I will just add even rel infra also. It's in the same pack. Rel capital, rel infra, R power. All these three of um, I mean, Anil Ambani's are in the same direction. So you can see that Trail Infra has already done its final target. <coughs> PTC is another very good call. I'll just uh, it has done its final target for trading. Power Grid is also a good call. So most of the power companies are positive today. You can just check that. Jindal steel you can still wait, I mean uh, there is enough trade in Jindal steel still. Gain is also good, uh, I mean uh, the oil and gas pack is really good, you can see gain, I will show you uh, Hindustan Petroleum,
and we have VPC available. So IDFC is another uh, script which is on news. So we should get a buy call in IDFC. There are some more scripts which I missed uh, like uh, GMR Infra, Kotak Bank, Unitech, UPL. I'll just show you what's happening in that. So Unitech it's already done its final target. So there, there was no space so I didn't add Unitech otherwise you would have got a good call in this. Sun TV was also on news. So that's a buy call in Sun TV. GMR Infra is a buy call. Okay, it's a sell call now. You can wait on Coal India also. So now Wipro has started moving. Let's just check uh, what's happening in uh, Wipro. So it's almost near the stop loss line. So once that is done, uh, we'll get a sell call in Wipro. Comeback C is on news, it should make its intermediate target. Thank you. 